Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Sorry about the different kind of view. I'm kind of just got you guys on my like vanity kind of desk area at the moment. Um, I just got home. It's currently 7.25. We just had dinner with a family friend. So yes. Today I wanted to come on and do a little reveal uh, with you guys. It's been on my radar, but it hasn't been on my radar. I've, uh, I've been, I've been an airing on this bag for a while. Like when it was first released, I hated it. I did not like it at all. But just as I kept seeing it, I started to fall in love with it more and more and more. And so the opportunity came up with, um, I think a lot of you guys know Timeless Vogue here on Instagram. Sandy, she is amazing. So I I inquired about this bag a while ago and then I kind of just forgot about it and I just let it be. And then I saw it again, she reposted um, a photo of it and I was like, oh, so I inquired about it to see if it was still available because this type of bag is made, it's not made in the type of leather that this one is in. So yeah, so today is going to be a reveal video. I purchased this one off Timeless Vogue. So thank you Sandy for all your help. You are so amazing. Mwah. Thank you babe. This is going to be a reveal of my newest bag. Um, it is a Chanel bag. Uh, but I just wanted to um, show you guys my newest addition to my bag which is the This is the Chanel 19 in the black this is a smaller size and it is in the I believe it's the goat skin so this is only made in lamb now from what I've heard and what I've researched on so yeah so this is the the Chanel 19 in the goat skin uh, this is her in all her glory oh she's gorgeous and she has the back pocket which I absolutely love and I've got my phone in the back pocket at the moment and I am using it what's new um, it comes with a beautiful top handle strap right here and it features I believe it's three different hardware so it has a shiny hardware up here then it goes into the kind of brass uh, gold and then the ruthenium then it has the leather brake with the chain on the top this is the bag. It is pre-loved, obviously, because this is, I think, uh, from 2020, from what I um, can recall. And, guys, the minute I took this out of the box, it's the feeling of it is literally like a pillow. It feels so soft. Um, and there's the inside. I currently have... The larger pouch of the multi pochette from Louis Vuitton. It fits perfectly in here as like a kind of divider and a catch all, which I have all my stuff inside that. And I have my phone, as I mentioned, on the back of the bag. So, for reference, I tried looking um, to see if there's any videos of like the iPhone Pro Max sizes sitting on the back of the phone. I didn't really find much. So, just for reference, the smaller size. Chanel 19 and I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max here it is and then this is how it looks going in it fits perfectly horizontally and it does have a magnetic closure right there but obviously since the phone is blocking it it won't be able to snap shut so um, just keep that in mind and if you just quickly want to have it up that's how it'll sit like for height reference that's how tall the bag is for iPhone 14 Pro Max so I love how it just slips in the back and it's just such easy access but yes I just wanted to come on and show you guys my newest Chanel piece in my collection I'll probably do a what's on my bag with it once I use it a bit more longer but for now this is just a little reveal and I hope you guys Love it as much as I do. Let me know if you have this bag as well. Let me know your pros and cons down below. Let's have a little chat. I just want to say massive thank you to all my OG babes. Mwah! I love you all so much. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Staying safe, staying healthy. 
Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified of when I upload next. Which is probably the what's in my bag with this one. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Bye.